Hello, Mia, and hello, everybody joining in today. Hello, Johan. Hello, everyone. So nice to be together. So good to be together. And as always, just so that we know that everything is working well here, if you can give us a quick thumbs up or a heart or anything so that we know we're here and it's all working for you. I'm also pulling up the page here so that I can follow your comments. As always, we would love for those lives to be um, valuable for you to bring any, so bring any shares, any questions that you have um, into the chat box, into the comment box, and then we'll make sure to address your questions right away. And also let us know where you're calling in from so that we can see that as well. See here, it's popping up. Okay, so I haven't seen anything yet, Mia. Can you see if we... Uh, I haven't seen anything yet either, anybody? Yohan. Okay. No. So let's just double check here. If anybody can hear us. Uh... I think <laughs> that's that's odd. Um, so let's odd. see. Maybe it is a face. No, we see. I oh, see here we comment. go. One comment. All right. Great. We're so, on. We're live. So it seems oh, to be working. Go. All right. Great. <laughs> Thank you, friends, so much for uh, for telling us that this seems to be working. Wonderful. Uh, so getting back on track here. Um, we heard that our last Facebook Live, which was two weeks ago, actually, was really helpful. And basically what we were considering together here um, was almost creating like a checklist for you. So most people here join um, a Balanced View training or they they uh, become interested in, in the Balanced View teaching. Of course, due to something that's happening in life where we feel the tools that we've had so far didn't give us the results that we had wanted. And so that could be anything. It could be challenging relationships. It could be challenges with your health. It could be uh, the wish to change something in your career, but you don't know how or what's even not working. And there is this underlying unease, or maybe it's even like really intense unease all the way to suffering and where like, it, it just feels almost unbearable to even consider how you could go through another day. So there is a broad spectrum of, of what could bring us to open ourselves up to deeply consider the nature of our own mind, to deeply consider, reflect on the nature of reality, as it's sometimes also called, and to just dive into teachings and practices um, that would be supporting us to find greater peace, to be free from suffering, and to find that key to a flourishing and fulfilling life. So on the on the last uh, Facebook Live, now Mia, can you still hear me and see me? <laughs> Somehow I think I've lost Mia. Can you all still see me? <laughs> this is a bit of a... Tech, tech uh, intense Sunday morning here. Let's see. Just pulling this up. Okay, so Eric, you can still see me. Thank you for letting me know. And uh, I may not be able to see the comments today. Um, we had some problems with our platform before. So Eric, since you can uh, see me and chat me on Skype, why don't you let me know on Skype if there are any questions and then um, we can respond to those questions uh, through Eric's uh, forwarding. So uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll Johan, do it like I can that. see the questions too. Oh, good. Great. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. Mia, you can feed them in. Oh. Um, so I was just sharing, Mia, you seem to be gone for me for a moment. I don't know if you were. 
I think we were all, we were both gone for a moment, maybe. <laughs> okay, great. So we're all back here. And I was just sharing, Eric said I was still um, audible. So proud. So um, in the last Facebook Live, we were speaking about two of the four elements, four elements, and we spoke about two of them. Um, uh, that Candace, the founder of Balanced View, had identified were always present whenever there was a large number of people in any given culture at any given time who had a profound realization of the true nature of mind and could bring that real power of mind into their qualities and activities of everyday life to be of benefit to all. So that was what she was interested in and her research is more than 45 years and ongoing. So it hasn't stopped, it continues. We have like explored everything from the ancient wisdom teachings in the East, all the way to the latest of neuroscience, mathematics, philosophy, computer science, um, because obviously all of these things ultimately are connected, indivisibly connected. Um, by a singular intelligence that we as humans have access to, to operate on a daily basis. And so the two elements that we spoke about last time were the importance of having access to a direct unerring teaching. And what that means is that it's a teaching that hits the mark directly, that doesn't take any unnecessary detours, that isn't confusing, that doesn't send you off to do one thing while saying another thing. I think we spoke a bit about teachings that speak about non-duality, but then introduce the ego or a pain body or some other entity that seems to be in the way of you being your true nature, which inherently doesn't make sense. It's either your true nature, so it should be easy, or it's not your true nature and you need to work hard. If you want the easy way, then look for a teaching that unerringly confirms your true nature as already naturally present. That's just a brief recap. And then the second element we spoke about was to have a simple practice that doesn't, again, doesn't complicate things, that doesn't make you do lots of things, that is integratable into your everyday life so that you don't need to take hours and hours every day aside from your normal everyday life that you want to live and where you want to see results, but that you can integrate the practice into the flow of everyday life. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't be having any other things in life like meditation or yoga or whatever you might enjoy doing, but those can be enjoyable, like hobbies or things that you enjoy doing. It, it's important to have a practice that doesn't just um, support you while you're doing these things. Does that make sense? So they, they should support you in all aspects of life. Like when you're together with your kids or your spouse or your parents or your colleagues and like all the buttons get pushed, that's when the practice needs to be really available and really kick in. So what we also are aware of, and that's something that can saw, is those two are like, you could say, the foundation. They, if, if, if those aren't in place, nothing else that you would be doing would be on any solid footing. Like if you're, if, if you're following the wrong teaching, so to speak, or a teaching that is like confusing, no matter how much you start uh, you you study a confusing teaching, it's not your fault. <laughs> the teaching has to be clear and unerring. So that's how it removes confusion. If it adds confusion, then you need to see like, is it me or is it the teaching? So, but with even with these two things in place, the clear teaching, the unerring teaching and the simple direct practice, what we have found and what Candace has found in her research is that Practically everybody comes to points in our practice where we study these unerring teachings, we have the simple practice, but even then, even though these things are in place, we bump our head against some, some challenges. Just like with anything in life that we have done, doubt comes up, um, anxiety comes up, fear comes up. Um, on the other hand, pride and arrogance might come up. You know, it's like the whole cornucopia of other 
teachings and and um and and things we've studied everything that you've experienced there since this area of life is so important to you you can expect the same doubts anxiety um fears worries concerns all of these things will come up here as well so what Candice saw from the beginning is she didn't want to just dish out a teaching like write a book and then people can read the book and that's it she wanted to have a complete support system that is like on demand so that you can push a button and then it's right there. There is support 24 seven. And so what we wanted to talk about today is those other two elements, which are um, the teacher or the a, like a, a whole group of teachers and uh, a worldwide community. And we'll start with the teachers. So uh, the teachers, are available in the context if you if you think about it also with anything else that whether you're a plumber or an electrician or if you've studied at university teachers always like they they're part of a teaching setup where you want to learn something and then whenever you have a question you can ask somebody right that's why we have teachers that's the the concept of having a teacher and so the question here would be with whatever you're trying to accomplish with your spiritual practice, with your self-development, whatever it is that you've embarked on, do you have access to that? Do you have access to a teacher? And one of the things that I had found um, pretty early on in my in my own exploration of this of this subject was that I had read like interesting books, but I always had questions about them, especially questions of like, this sounds nice, it feels good when I read it, but why doesn't it feel good after? What could I do um, when I when I have a question? Like, who could I ask? And I didn't want to just ask anybody. I wanted to ask somebody where I would know the response would be in alignment with the teaching. I, ideally, it would even be by the author of the book that I was just reading, but, you know, most of the people who sell millions of books, they're not waiting for me to call them um, or send them a Facebook message so that they would get back to me. So um, I don't know, what's what's your experience, Mia? Thank you all for your comments and, and responses, by the way. It's great to see them pop up here, even though I can't read them. I can see there are some lively interactions. So thanks so much for those. Mm, so good, Johan. Um, and what a great topic this was. This has been very key in terms of bringing about the results and the beneficial potency of uh, really what I was looking for when I stumbled across this training. And Candace is a teacher. Uh, I knew very early on in my life, for, for whatever reason, that I would need a lot of support. So I was athletic at a very young age, and I found mentors that could support me in that. Um, I always had a few teachers that uh, I just kind of singled out. And to support me through my teenage years and my high school years, I went to boarding school, so I was very close with them. And then I remember I had um, my children when I, my first child when I was 27 and none of my other friends were having kids. And so um, I was like, oh my gosh, here I am with this child. I, I need others in my life that have gone before that could support me. And so I sought out mentorship there, friendship and mentorship. And when, you know, and, and true, when I got married, oh my gosh, I'm married. Okay, where are <laughs> others that have gone before, you know, who can support me in this? Um, I, I uh, don't drink or do drugs anymore. So I needed mentors and that. So it, it was just a natural thing for me throughout my life, uh, really to rely on that support and mentorship. And again, uh, just the experience of those that had gone before and really seeing in them, wow, I, I want what they have. They have this confidence and assurance. And so too, with my searching, you know, really searching for uh, stability, fulfillment, the nature of mind, uh, clarity, cons uh, yeah, just all of the qualities that we naturally have within us, but I wasn't able to access. This kind of led me on my search 
And I dabbled in many different approaches, but what I found there in particular with my experience with the teacher is like, wow, I need someone that's similar to my culture. I need someone who I can really relate to. And of course, who has complete confidence and assurance, who has gone before, who has faced some of the pitfalls that I might be facing, and also has just a, a clear instinctive recognition of the nature of mind and uh, illumination of the qualities that I knew I had within but wasn't able to fully access. And so this kind of support I really saw was missing from my life and within my search. And it's amazing because as soon as that was available, boom, my search stopped. You know, I, I just through all of the, the uh, four mainstays, each of the components of this algorithm, this formula of support that we were talking about a couple of weeks ago and today, when implemented, the results are readily available. And a key one, of course, was, was the teacher. And just through my life of, of uh, years of not really having that within the search, it, it was painful. And what a relief, not only to have uh, a living teacher that could transmit uh, everything that I was looking for. So it landed in a way where it became my direct experience, my lived experience, practical qualities and activities just flowing naturally from there. Um, but I also really appreciate within the Balance View training that there are 50 trainers. We have a root trainer, which is Candace, the founder, and then 50 trainers that are are just trained up so well, readily available, and um, yeah, just there to completely support us. Mm. Yeah, that is that is amazing. I was just as you spoke, um, reflecting on how how rare it really it really has been in my life to have someone to turn to where I would know I just it's just completely reliable where I would know um, I can ask anything, like even, even if I don't want to, or who might even ask me because the teacher sees like, there's something going on or tell me what that is. It's, it's like the ultimate friend or the ultimate parent. It's like the ultimate guide who knows me better than I know myself, which can be scary. Um, and as Candice one time said, I think she was actually referring to somebody else who said that, but I love that it's like dead teachers don't kick ass. And um, I, I love that because it's also really making clear how, you know, on that path of really getting to know ourselves, we not only get like, so to speak, we, out we get to outshine our own suffering and find freedom from suffering we also tap into an incredible power and potency. And just in, in moving a lot around India and other places where, where people have tapped into this kind of power for some time and a little bit, but didn't have that support, I could see that power could go pretty much anywhere and quite pell-mell. And so to have a teacher there who would always, who I know will tap me on the shoulder and hold me accountable whenever needed, as much as they also support me whenever I ask them. But where I know I just have this like safe context to explore myself, to really look deeply where I don't have to be afraid that I could go astray and wander into realms that maybe you don't want to walk into better. Um, but where I would always have that like lifeline of support and um, could rely on that without fail. That to me has been completely amazing. Like you, I've always had people I, you could say, looked up to and I found it like helpful to see in them what's possible in life, whether that was in psychology or when I worked as a consultant, as a coach. Um, I've always had like coaches myself who I could then, you know, look up to and you could say almost sample things and make them available to myself. And with, with Candace as our root teacher, 
it is completely amazing for me because I can see, as you said, there isn't just this like incredible demonstration of these qualities. There is also the power to transmit those so that the people who are open to receive that can find those qualities within ourselves. And I found that completely magical. Like there is one way of learning what I said before with practice and with teachings and, you know, like a, a, a usual process, you could say, of how we've learned most things in life. You read a book, you study the subject, and, uh, you know, you put it into practice. And and here there is somehow you could say almost like a, a, you know, where you can plug in like a USB port can plug into something and it's immediately downloaded. Like I felt in that relationship to a, to a living teacher that there is the capacity to literally access or download. It's hard to describe, but if you've experienced it, I'm sure you know exactly what I mean where you can connect to these qualities and you find them within yourself. That's the part of the unerring teaching is where the teacher doesn't say, you know, yes, right. I have these qualities and in theory you have them too, but only if you do X, Y, and Z, but where the teacher really walks the talk and reflects back to us all the time that you have this too, you are this too. And that's all they see in us. And as I said before, sometimes that is like, it, it's as empowering as it can be scary or maybe even a little bit annoying when I want to be a victim and I just want somebody who confirms, yes, you're right, poor you. And, and but the teacher will be there and will say, no, you know, you can do this. You're able to do this. You have what it takes. You have all the support that it takes. I'll be with you every step of the way. And there is no reason and there is no way that you will give up. And so that kind of skillful means <clears throat> of the teacher is really amazing. And you mentioned the 50, the 50 trainers in balanced view. I can see how this, this training and this capacity really is given down from generation to generation, which is so amazing that it isn't something, again, where there is just one person who holds this knowledge. And then you need to be afraid, you know, that someday they'll, they might choose to do something different or something happens in their life or whatever it is, but that there is a, a, a self-replicating process of, of mentoring and realization that supports and strengthens everyone who is willing to plug ourselves into it and that over time even is responsive so that it always, as you said, in, it, it's responsive to the time and culture, that it isn't a 3,000 year old like teaching or a, a story from somebody who lived at a completely different time and culture, but that it's so alive in our direct experience. And I love that level of accessibility that we, that we can enjoy here. Right, that's so true, Johan. And uh, like you shared so beautifully, a lot of times we will read a book or, you know, watch a video or dabble in um, some kind of training or teaching, and it just resonates so powerfully. But then when we leave the retreat or the training or done with the book, you know, we just are left with, you know, no, like, real human support. Um and so to have just this full body of support through um, Candace as the root teacher, who just so brilliantly brings forward the ancient wisdom teachings that transmit powerfully in our own direct experience, and then also to be supported by uh, a personal trainer. Once one has done the foundational training called the 12 empowerments, there is a platform of support that's open to uh, the participant. And it's, it's a live chat. <laughs> We're becoming familiar with live chats in many different ways. You know, our technology breaks down, we get on live chat, or we wanna <laughs> order something from a store and something's not working, we get on a live chat. Well, a live chat where there is a, uh, powerful 
trainer who is readily available to support you immediately 24 seven, no matter what time you wake up at two in the morning, you know, the thoughts are raging, the doubts are coming up, the anxiety, you know, as we're feeling it so intensely. And it's almost like a reset, boom, you know, a reset, we hop on live chat, and the trainer is there to again, confirm what is most innate about us this just this power and potency and stability and clarity that we all already have within us and so you know this is the best kind of live chat you could ever jump on and um and it's this kind of support that again allows us to uh easefully and powerfully receive the results that we're looking for, you know, which is such deep love and care and compassion and empowerment. And I just have never found anything like this uh, before within my life. And even with all the mentors and all the uh, groups I've been in and ways that I've been supported, uh, this definitely is so all encompassing and direct. And it's, it just works so well for me and, you know, others around the world. Love that. Mm. And it continues to. That's also what I love, you know, being a teacher myself and training other teachers. I love that I have a teacher. It isn't that I like, okay, now you're graduated and now you're like on your own and you need to do, you know, everything by yourself. It's like, in fact, the more important I feel the teacher has become because it's like so many, I don't like subtle nuances that I, I would have, I would have been completely oblivious to them. And it wasn't that like my life felt out of order or something out of whack. These things settle in earlier, but then on that basis of greater stability, clarity, and like when when the big things are out of the way, so to speak, that I initially was looking for, then there is this ongoing inexhaustible opening, which is like amazing that this realization never ends anywhere. Like there isn't a destination that we get to and then we're done. It's like death and probably even after death, who knows what happens there, but at least in this life, I know for sure that there will always be more opportunity. There will always be a deepening. There will always be opening. And so to know that through this connection with a teacher and in even a community of teachers here, that there is always this customized direct support. I, it's, it's just completely incredible to have that available. So, and as I said in the beginning of this, of this life, this isn't so much to gush how amazing Balanced View is as, a, as I mean, obviously we love it, that's why we're participating in it. But it really is also to check, as I said in the beginning, if you're bumping your head against similar challenges, if there are roadblocks that you just can't seem to find a way around or overcome, then look at the system that you're currently using with these points that we've mentioned. Because it's likely from the research that we've done that when some of these aren't in place, then you'll bump against the same thing. And you may have like a... Um, an accidental breakthrough, which I definitely had in life as well. Um, but there is a system that instead of having those be like accidental every now and then, you can just like have the easy way um, because that's what the whole research project has been about is identifying the things that make it really easy. Um, so let me move on here we could go on for, I guess forever especially talking about our teacher um, so but uh, in terms of time let's move on and uh, cover also the fourth element um, of this uh, of, of the four cornerstones that Candice has identified in this 45 and ongoing a uh, year and ongoing research project which is a a community of like-minded and then you could call it people, practitioners, students, you know, whatever the tradition is that you might be coming from. But um, the significance of a community of people who are like precisely on the same track as you are. 
it's a lot of people today are interested in growth or you know exploring our potential and and it's nice to share that it's 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 nice to know that we're not alone in this endeavor um the challenge with this beautiful diversity can be if you are on a certain path and you have a certain question about your practice and I've been to a few Facebook groups where I felt this myself and then also saw it like from the perspective of a teacher um, where a person asks somebody and then in that community of people, you can hear all kinds of responses and tips and suggestions and it like fizzles into all kinds of directions. And in the end, the person is more confused than they've actually been supported. Who, you know, who asked the initial question. And obviously, like I said before, sometimes there's also a lot of gold in there. So this isn't to discard anybody, but it's to really look at what makes a community like an effective and productive means of support for your results in everyday life. Like what do you want your community to be and do for you? And what do you want to be and do for the community? You know, a, a community isn't something, it's a bit like the saying, you're not stuck in traffic, you are traffic. It's the same here that you're not like taking advantage of a community, You're whether you want to or not, as soon as you participate in, even as an observer, you're a participant of that community, even if it's just deciding I only observe, but that already is a statement about the level of your involvement. So we we're always in, in interaction and interoperability with the people that we have these kinds of exchanges with. So it's good to really consider deeply, what is it that you want? Like, what would be your ideal community? What would, what would they be and do for you? And what would you want to feel moved to be and do for them? And so again, this is something that I, you know, I've, I've always had the privilege and, and the joy of, knowing wonderful people, having wonderful people in my life. Personally, I've usually had smaller friendship groups and um, and more in-depth rather than huge friendship groups with more, you know, like many connections at a time. Um, but what I love here today and uh, have seen growing over those last 12 years uh, that I've been involved with the Balanced View communities that I I could participate to as much of a degree as I wanted to and to like as much depth as I wanted to. And but what was reflected back to me was always the empowerment of my true nature. It wasn't a confirmation of how victimized I was. It wasn't a confirmation of that there is something wrong with me or that I'm you know not worthy or any of these things, even though those things might come up for other people. Because the teaching, because the practice, because the teachers are aligned with the power of mind, with the reality that underlies the power of mind, that's what the community is practicing together. Because they, everybody in the community relies on those same principles. I then later found out there is actually an organizational platform that Candace has put into place that supports the community and everybody in the community who wants to be an active community agent, you could say, has these means of support and how to actually do this. So I didn't recognize this initially. It was more when I looked behind the curtain and Candace very generously shared these things with me that I thought, oh, wow, that's why this works. Is because it wasn't just like, oh yeah, sure, let's put up a Facebook group and see what happens. It's like so systematic as part of her research, Candice saw these things that made a community strong. And she saw what completely disempowered communities. She's had such a rich life and has been in beautiful projects where she saw things that worked and she saw things that didn't work at all. And so all of these things from her life, she's poured into the community aspect of, of the Four Mainstays of Balanced View. Um, Mia, do you want to share anything about that part in either your life experience before or or from the community here? Definitely. Um, and so much gratitude, just as you shared, Johan, for Candace really pouring forth her 
own direct experience of being involved in so many communities for decades and really seeing what what is supportive and what is disempowering and and offering so much yeah just experience and um the community imbalance view it's it's the fourth mainstay or component of the support structure or algorithm and i for me i never thought that i would be living a global lifestyle where i would have friends in you know so many countries around the world and just feel so deeply connected to them and yeah that's just coming from america and you know, in europe it's a little more feasible but it's just amazing that wherever we go you know we have friends that we can really um uh, just connect with and in the past my community whether it's my friendship group or whether communities out in the world that i was involved in involved in we were relating mostly from similar like thoughts and emotions and, and experiences and we would kind of bond in this way, like, oh, you feel that? Oh, I'm feeling that way too. And oh, <laughs> you know, and it, it was actually really limiting because there are so many people that I have met that have really different things come up for them in their lives. Their lives look so completely different than mine. Yet here, there is just a, a, an immediate connection, immediate openness, because we're not just relating to our, with our similarities. We're not just like confirming, like you said, you know, all oh, the depression and all oh, the anxiety, you know, we're, we're really recognizing the profound nature of everything that arises for us. And so there's just a, a, a singularity oh, with everyone and everything. And this becomes directly experienced, so easily understandable um, in our own lives that wherever we go now, you know, there's just a, a, a complete openness. And when you have a community of people that come together, whether it's on video conference, which is amazing to be on call with 20 powerful, empowered women from around the world, or whether it's being together at one of our centers, yeah, everyone is taking responsibility for recognizing uh, the, the, their true nature, the basic nature of all their thoughts, emotions, sensations, and experiences. And there's just a, a complete openness and an empowerment that's naturally uh, our lived experience. And, and so it's just like love and compassion and clarity and skillful means, all of these qualities that are enlivened within the Balance View training are what are naturally demonstrated. So we still may have these crazy thoughts coming up or, you know, maybe a moment of anxiety when, you know, interacting with a big group or whatever it is. But within that, at the basis of that, there is such stability there is just incredible open heartedness and skillful means that just naturally arise. So relating becomes so easeful and there's just nothing more intimate than relating as our basic nature um, and knowing others basic nature too. It's, it's, I mean, it's our most natural way of being in relationship, of harmonizing relationship. And so to have a worldwide community of people who are coming together, you know, just, just so grounded in, in love and compassion that's completely authentic. It's like so enriching and enlivening and satisfying. We no longer have to match oh, my belief system with your belief system to feel connected to feel that that closeness and intimacy. It's like whatever the person's circumstances, whatever's going up for, coming up for them, you know, we are just relating from this empowered basic nature. And that's how Candace has, that's what Candace has demonstrated in the relationship with us. And we can really see that that's possible immediately. And it just becomes our lived direct experience. 
So there's just great, great satisfaction and fullness and um, love that's, you know, just everywhere within this community, wherever we go. And I really have been searching for a, just a reliable uh, community of friends. And this really, ha- this really is it. Mm. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love, like you mentioned, the centers. I love seeing this in action. Like for me, being so result-oriented, I think, um, it was invaluable for me to see that it actually works when people are sticking together in a closed space for a long time. And not that not you know that challenges wouldn't come up, but there are actual means, skillful means of what you know typically you would call conflict resolution or something. Uh, so sometimes people are like when we go out in um, like in India in, in Goa at the center, um, usually you know people often go out and then of course also have dinner together and people come and say like who are you people <laughs> like like this everybody's shining and you just seem to be really nice to each other. And it doesn't feel like a nice that is, you know, contrived kind of nice where you just like think there is no realness going on. It's just, it, it's just at ease, relaxed. And there is, like you said before, there is real intimacy, intimacy. So I, I feel so connected and that isn't actually just to people who are participating in the teaching I feel like that to everybody today but the teaching setting and the teacher and the community have given me again a space to explore that that was safe you know where I could like open myself up for example to um women and men to younger and to older people to just people from all kinds of cultures and see that living from a completely open heart doesn't mean I need to be like sexually involved with everybody. It doesn't mean that I fall in love with this person and then need to like think, well, you know, what, 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 what will happen with my life? What will happen with my marriage or anything like that? We realize we are love. We are love in a human form, walking around, connecting with other people who are essentially the same. And so there's just a lot of love. There's, and, you know, that feels new, that can feel like amazing. It sometimes can feel overwhelming. But again, this, this space is so bright and clear and safe to really explore this. And so all together, those four um, elements, the four mainstays are just so beautiful in making every moment of life the, the greatest opportunity to live to our fullest, to, you know, sometimes it might be the helping hand, sometimes it might be um, the encouragement, the pep talk, sometimes it might be just to even watch a video, nobody needs to interact with you directly, you can just pop on the website, um, or in the Bright group, we have shares from, from participants who share their own experience, because you know, sometimes we do think I'm the only one. Everybody else is getting it. I don't. Again, it's like, poor me. Why Why am I the one who doesn't get this? And then, you know, you like hesitatingly write a post on that group. And then you see like, boom, 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 boom. Lots of people saying, I understand. And then it doesn't stop there. It doesn't just say, I feel the same way and nothing works and life sucks. And yeah, right. It's Yes, I understand. That's how it's been for me. And this is what supported me. And today, this is how I feel. And to me, this was amazing that I felt that other people had similar challenges or, you know, maybe they had a different content, but the dynamic was similar to mine, or maybe it was exactly like mine. And then they, their confidence and and their trust were things that I could borrow. I could just know that if if they made it, I'll make it too, because they had exactly the same thoughts that I had, and they made it through. So this is, again, just such a blessing, really, to have that level of, of support with the push of a button. You can come to India, you can come to Sweden, you can come to one of our gatherings in the US, but you don't have to. You can just do all of this from 
right from your phone, from your tablet or your laptop and and connect in any way. You can start with a book, you can start with a call with us, or you can start wherever you would like. It's so easy, so many entryways for every disposition. And that's exactly what Candace wanted because she saw that level of flexibility was available, that level of pervasive support was available whenever there were large groups of people throughout the thousands of years of documented human history where there were large groups of people who had that profound recognition and could implement that into their daily activities so that their qualities and activities would be infused in the shining demonstration of that realization. It wasn't just a nice philosophy. It was lived, embodied, full-on realization. And so, yeah, there is no no way to express how grateful and honored I feel to be to be part of this. I mean, this is... It, the, the probability that I would have stumbled across this um, is so close to zero that it, it, it just gives me chills every time I remember how, you know, one fortunate step after another made me just end up where I am today. And just anybody who is watching this, if you have any kind of like inspiration with what we shared today, if you feel this resonates, um, if you're really new here, then we'll post the link for you to go through a free online training that we've developed that um, you know gives you some of the key points um, that, again, will support you just like we did here to really look for the key elements that have to be in place in your practice. That's much more referring to the practice and the teaching. Um, so we'll post a link of that in the comment section and in the post. And then if you've already gone through that or you're somewhat familiar already with us and you are, you would like to see, you know, how your current strategy is working for you in your life and what possible upgrades and next steps there could be, whether they're with us or whether they're with something completely different, we'd love to get on a call with you and consider that together. So we call these breakthrough sessions because really we've designed those calls, we've structured them in a way where you can have a breakthrough for your practice to find that freedom from suffering, peace of mind, and open up into a life of flourishing no matter where you are right now and no matter where you want to go, there are key steps that we know have to be taken. And again, whether you take them with us or with anybody else, we just feel moved to share what those steps are. And then, you know, whether it's a fit or not is a secondary question to us. We really love to be on those calls. And we've had such amazing feedback from people, um, just how valuable it is to get together in this way and to really like systematically look at what is currently not working, what is working, what other resources I have, and how can all of this be combined to bring me to where I want to go in life. So that it isn't this like a, an archer shooting an arrow in the dark, hoping to hit a target, but where you know you have your eyes wide open, you know the target, you know the arrow, and you can shoot it very precisely. Um, good. It was amazing. And again, to be together, we took a little longer again today, but it was amazing to be together. Thank you, Mia, so much for uh, everything you shared with us. Mm, great. Thank you, Johan. Brilliant. And so nice to be with you all. Um, yeah, just feeling lots of gratitude and love and uh, openness to uh, more and more people stumbling across the Balance View training and receiving the transformational and permanent benefits that are just guaranteed when you show up with openness. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you, friends. So good to be together today. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye. Mm, Bye-bye.